chambers and strange frightening sounds echo through the halls whenever candlelights flicker where the air is deathly still that is the time when ghosts are present practicing their terror with ghoulish delight welcome foolish mortals to a little fashion presentation our appealing apparitions begin here with a silk vest and billowing blouse grounded by an elegant essential a black wool pencil skirt. A cadaverous pallor provides clarifying contrast against deeper hues. Try the peasant blouse in a becoming black, and a draped iridescent linen skirt pairs so well with a beetle brooch. Look almost alive in a ravishing raisin rayon. It pairs so perfectly with forever favorite noir, and a rusty tipped topper adds an accent of olive to recall with a rouged glove in the same pickled hue. perhaps materialize in a gilded golden suit set in winsome wool gabardine. Black accessories ground the ensemble, but flame orange gloves and gleaming copper insect pins at the pointed collar add an element of warranted whimsy. As the weather makes a disquieting metamorphosis, layer a multicolored faux fur collar on over your favorite suit silhouette. Leather adds shine in the shoes and clutch handbag, and the hats in matched matte wool as well, but it's the gloves again providing the punch of accurate color. Grounded in a haze of web-like veiling and lace from head to terrifying toe, a glittering arachnid brooch must compete for any victim's attention with these truly stunning spider silk sets sparkling high heels. you dwell, a strong-shouldered sheath with a swinging hip swag surely suits every shindig. Pair with an oversized stripe cord clutch and lustrous lame sandals in gleaming green to match an equally glamorous glowing glove. Or perhaps slip those restless bones into some symphonic stripes and let the rustling taffeta do the rattling. A box bag recalls both perfumes and potions to mind, and a large net veil helps to hide your poisonous glare. Witching hour approaches turn to only the most traditional trappings, lest anyone mistake your indelibly indecent intentions.
Oh, why, hello there. Still here, are you? Allow me to reward your disquieting delirium for detail with an elaboration on today's pictorial. Here is the first outfit once again. This is just one of my peasanty blouses, pirate shirt things that I actually made a tutorial for here on the channel before, so I can put a link up to that, or a card up to here. Um, and I've also made a vest like this on the channel. Search waistcoat or vest uh, on the uploads page and you should be able to find it. And I've made a pencil skirt video, so actually every element of this outfit I've done a tutorial for, funny enough. But I've just paired it with a leather look nylon glove and my leather American Duchess Marilyn pumps and then a black pendant necklace that was a gift. And it's perfect for these sort of outfits, for sure. And I really, really love this outfit. I love these tops. And here it is in black, again, the same shirt, only a black that I made in that video I mentioned that's in the card. I made this black version in that video. And I just, I love these. I don't know why I wear anything else because the sleeves on these are so epic. Oh, bless you. And uh, this is a twill vest with a spiderweb taffeta collar on it. Again, same vest pattern that I used to make the last one, just a few little modifications style-wise. But these sleeves are so epic, I want to wear them with everything. And this iridescent skirt I made here on the channel as well, so I'll put a card up to this skirt as well, as it was a, another tutorial here on the channel. And then I have this draped purple rayon 1940s dress, sort of a late 30s, early 40s style dress that I made recently over on Patreon this last month. And I recently picked up this hat that goes quite well with this. And I was trying to pair the olive glove with the olive feathers on the hat and then use black to ground the rest of the ensemble. I have worn this with the rust as the accent color for the shoe in the bag as well, but I think the black feels a little bit more goth and a little bit more me. And I do have a large dress clip on here as well. Let me turn my fog machine off before I go and get changed. And then my next outfit here, I have this golden, sort of golden wheat colored 1940s suit. This is a vintage suit with some amazing details. This again, I paired with a black hat, handbag, and shoes to tie like harmoniously throughout the look. So I have something at the, on the top of my head, in the middle of the outfit, the handbag, and then at the bottom to ground it. So the color of the accessory helps add harmony to the outfit. And then of course I have that punch of harvest orange glove here, but this suit is absolutely delicious. It's got these uh, like scalloped or like pointed collar and uh, pocket details. It is a little bit small uh, for me through the hips, but we're gonna make it work because it's just delicious. I think I think you can probably agree. And then here, this is actually not a suit. I mean, it looks like one. It's a suit jacket with a little bit of beading on the collar that I bought separately. And this is actually the skirt from my other black suit that just matches quite well because they're both black wool gabardine. This one has again the jet beading up on the collar and then glass buttons down the front. And then I have this faux fur, this one's from Amazon, just search multicolored faux fur. I'll actually link this one below or one similar. And I just love this faux fur collar. It's so fun. I wish it came in other colors like this. And I just chose one of the colors from the combination here to accent with my glove, choosing a golden yellow mustard yellow glove here. And then one of my large spiderweb brooches and keeping the rest of the accessories black. Once again, just leaving those two colorful accents as the only like punches of color, I suppose. And then there's this sort of date night spiderweb lace dress outfit here. I wanted to see what this dress would look like over a lighter colored slip. So I am wearing a light green slip with this, but of course the star are these shoes because I mean, look at them. I did pick these up last year from Macy's. I don't think they still have them anymore. I will try and find them, uh, but they're probably all sold out because look at them. They're very modern shape heel, but the glitter spiderwebs got to have it. But again, again, just like when I use an accent color, I am using the sparkle texture here and trying to distribute it in a balanced way throughout the outfit. So my slip matches my gloves, and then I have the brooch, bracelet, shoes, and handbag all with rhinestone. The monster mash was playing. <laughs> Again, this is another dress that I made here on the channel, so I can put my use my last card to link up to this one. And again, I'm distributing the color of my accessories throughout the outfit here to create, try and create some balance. This hat has a little bit of pastel detail going on that I tied into the pastel sort of colors in the clutch. And then I again have a sparkly shoe. This time it's a green Lurex sparkly 
fabric shoe from Beat Footwear. I can link to these below. These were on super sale when I picked them up, so they may or may not still be available. And then I have this new 1940s clutch. This is a vintage clutch that I picked up recently on Etsy because it was too delicious to leave behind. And uh, again, I'm just calling that lime green color from the clutch with the glove, and then I have a big Coro brooch on as well. Then this is a striped dress I made last year on Patreon. This was my October project of last year, I think, over there. And again, we all know how I like a striped taffeta. I have an evening gown made of the same fabric, only in the gray and black colorway. And my necklace is all crooked here. This is a necklace I made ages ago. But this dress is just my favorite way of chevroning stripes. I'll show you sometime I have a little bit more of this fabric in the green and black, so I'll show you another project in this soon. And then finally, we have my full-length black rayon dolman sleeve 1940s gown. I made this for the noir lookbook last year, but it does, it works very well as like a morticia or vampire kind of gown here and uh, feels very witchy on and is extremely comfortable even though this fabric was a pain in the arse to work with. And yes, doing the magic effects is very fun. I hope you enjoyed this quick little Halloween lookbook. I didn't have time to do a giant project, of course, just getting back from my trip, but I want to put something together because this is, of course, my favorite holiday. And thank you all, as always, for watching today, and thank you to my patrons for making my work possible.